So hello friends, I am Moom and today we are diving in the fantastic world of Linux and here we have Deep in Linux, latest version 23 and I must say, everything is gorgeous. And in this video, we are gonna dive deep in the system. So let's get started, shall we? So here we have the desktop, let's start with the customization. For obviousness, the amazing and beautiful desktop of Deepin. Let's see what can we customize in it. So here we have a few themes here and there. This one really looks like macOS. Here we have the vintage, organic glass. This one looks a pretty minimalistic. Then we have hazy colors, flow. Flow looks pretty okay, Just it just needs a different wallpaper. Then we have square. <laughs> and then we have Macron. Hmm, I'm gonna go with Bloom, the default one. Then we have a few things to customize. Like we can customize the accent color. Well, the colors are vibrant. Then we have a few icon themes here and there. Like Flow, Square, Macron. I'm gonna go with Bloom. Then we have these beautiful cursors. Really, man. I just like the default one. And what else do we have? Well, that's pretty much it. Hmm. Well, we can customize the size of dock. And then what do we have? We have plugins area where we can enable and disable a few things. Well, let's try it. So, how am I supposed to access the grand search? I don't know. Let me just search for grand. Really? Oh, man. There we have the grand search, but I know how to access it. Like, really? How are we supposed to access that? If we're not even told what is the keyword or the keyboard shortcut is. Well, besides that, let's see some other few things like the desktop really is freaking beautiful. But I have seen some issues in there. For example, the UI sometimes gets a lot glitchy. I know what, I don't know what the reason is. Maybe I've not properly updated the system, which actually updates the overall drivers and codecs or else it might be something else. Now I was trying to access the AIs. There are three AIs to be sure. They have the UOS AI, an operating system. Wait, a comprehensive assistant AI system. Then we have the system assistant where you can question a few things about the deep in desktop or deep in operating system. And then we have our own personal knowledge assistant. Now let me tell you the reality of it. the reality is all these AIs are just subsets of ChatGPT. They use ChatGPT just to answer the questions and there's nothing special about it. Like really man, when you go to comp- You see, we have to first enable and connect our ChatGPT account and to make sure, you must have some sort of premium account of ChatGPT in order to use these AI assistants. I tried using my account and it wasn't working. It said that I need to get some more credits or something. Now, in my opinion, what is that supposed to be? Like, do we really need to purchase ChatGPT's premium version and then we will be able to use these AI just to have the experience same as ChatGPT? Like, it is good that we are getting AI implemented in the Lex desktop, but why do we have to just connect the whole AI of the system to our own account? Oh man. Well, leaving that, they have their new Ling Long App Store. Let's see what there we, there we have. So they have two app updates, I know what that is. Then we have the AI update, which I'm definitely not gonna do it. Let's see, what else do we have here? Well, I wanted to test some games and video editing on it and create a video about it. Let's see what else do we have here. UOS. I recently installed OBS Studio from the App Store and it is working pretty fine. Like previously, most of the apps in the App Stores were like outdated, but now everything looks pretty nice. Let's see what else do we have. So let's go to games. Let's see what sort of games they have on Linux. Well, the usual stuff and some games I can treat. They have Minecraft, Steam. Well, let me know in the comments what games should I play on this deep in Linux. Okay, Plants vs Zombies. This game is literally something which brings back old times. Like really. I used to play this game for hours. Well then, let's try this one. Let me know in the comments what next should I try on this Linux distro. Well then, let's see what else do we have. So let's start with the browser. 
I'm literally sensing that there is something fishy in this browser. Like really, why is it using so much more internet than the usual other browsers like Firefox? Okay, it has been installed. Let's try it, shall we? Let me search for plant. Wait, I cannot access. All right, it has another name. PVC, plant vs zombie. Oh, well, I gotta change the language first. Well, for that, I'm gonna go with grabbing a screenshot. Um, is that supposed to be working? There you go, screenshot. Then let me go to Google. Google. Then there, upload a file. And um, maybe it will be in images. It isn't. Let me just drag and drop. First search, where it is? Mm, pictures. No. Um, where is it supposed to be? Ah, really? Then screen. There it is. I literally tapped on the notification and it wasn't working. <sighs> Let me just search for... Let's go to recents. No. Downloads. No. Documents. Pictures. Music. Videos. Home. Let me search for... What will be... Dot PNG. No. GP. I cannot find it. Like really. If I type print screen, then I'm supposed to just do control plus V here. There we go. I got it. Now I'd like to translate the page. So where are the settings? Simple, hard, radiation, make cards. Okay, there is no option to just go all in and see. Change the language. Like really. Well then, I cannot play a game. Well, I can play. But playing it in Chinese, like really. Well, I don't remember how we're supposed to play. Wait. This isn't the version I used to play. Like, it used to be pretty better. Like, in terms of, it was, it used to be like a war or something. Like, we used to make enemies and we are... This is nonsense. And where they're supposed to be, they're there. Hmm? Okay, okay. Um, what was that? Okay, leave it. The game runs pretty okay. <sighs> you see, there was that glitch. I just clicked on new tab and it took almost 3 seconds to create a new tab. That is not okay at all. Well, as I can see, it is a subset or I should say it is based on Chromium browser. But there are a few things different about it. Like really, I don't feel quite right in this browser. I don't know why. And I just logged in with my Google account. <laughs> Well, let's see what else do we have. Let's go to, um, where are we supposed to? Let's go to appearance. Well, they have this nice theme, which is okay. You can have hardware acceleration. Well, then let's try Kranka. If you don't know what it is, well, brother, you're not a real gamer. This will give us an idea of how the FPS on Deep in Linux is. Advance, controls, um, is this a different leave that. So general, mass acceleration, display, render. I'd like to render it completely. One. And let's go. Well, let me enable the FPS first. Uh, where is it supposed to be? There it is. So I'm getting almost like 120 average FPS right now. Well, well. Well, I'm using touchpad. So my touch, my touchpad gets disabled when I'm doing anything with the keyboard. So yeah, just a test to know how the performance is. Hmm, well, the FPS are pretty nice, I'll see. 120 FPS, nice. Well, as you can see, without a mouse and a keyboard and a mouse, a touchpad which gets disabled every time I click a button on my keyboard, not good at all. Defeat it, okay. Well, I can see that... The performance is pretty okay, but you see, I was clicking minimize and it took almost 5 seconds to do that. There are some things I don't like about deep in Linux, like really. And starting with the trust issues. Obviously, it is Chinese and we all know how Chinese products are in today's world. 
Well, besides that, let's see our system monitor. Currently, I'm recording a screen with OBS 30 FPS, so the CPU should use a little. But talking about the RAM, why is it using almost 5 gigs of RAM? We don't know. And why it is using 4.7 Mbps of internet while I'm doing literal nothing? Who knows? Like really? You see that? There, in my opinion, there are some issues. Like really? And starting with the trust issues. I don't know where my internet is and what is getting downloaded in the system. Like if I go there and see the processes. Let's see what do we have. Something in the terminal. I haven't done anything about it. Then we have Droid Cam Client which is my camera and I'm using Wi-Fi so yeah. That explains why it is using 3 Mbps but why the hell my terminal is using so much. I really. Well then, let's see what else. Okay right. So let's see what else we can do on it. So we have this deep in home, I know what it is. Okay it is the own center of the operating system like windows have the health check or something like that launch ad system startup it is like a help guide and <clears throat> and the personal brand of advertisement of the operating system right then they have the manual and what else do we have multitasking view i will say this is indeed functional wait there are workspaces i almost forgot you see they have workspaces where we can apply different themes on them too i like this wallpaper let's explore some wallpapers here shall we Let's go to personalization, then we have these wallpapers. Nice. Let's see what else do we have. Oh my god, this one looks gorgeous. Then they have this. <laughs> it looks like Rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy. Then they have these. I must say the wallpaper collection is pretty nice. This one is from Google. I, rec I remember it from Chrome OS. But like really. You see in some operating systems the wallpapers are kind of blurry, I don't know why. But in deep end, they're looking gorgeous. Oh my. I want this one for my own personal collection of wallpapers, which is linked in the description, so don't worry about it. I have a personal collection of nice wallpapers, which you can use for free. The link is in the description. Well, well, well. Let's see what else do we have. Then we have the file manager. I must say, like, everything in the operating system uses a unified sort of design, and it looks pretty nice. But the thing is, it is literally not okay. You see, the speed of the operating system isn't that good at all. They have the introduction. It's a PPT, okay? I got it. Well then, yes, they have Debian support. Yet, I thought that they were gonna replace it with their own package management system. I don't know, I don't remember. Linear apps maybe, these are the applications, let it get loaded. You see there they are, their own personal brand of package management system, which I believe they will replace in the future with Debian. Then they have the calendar app. Okay, this ray looks gorgeous, I'll say. Let's go to weeks. Let me just create something. Okay, this calendar app is actually gorgeous and much better than Google's, except for a few things like Okay, they do have dark theme too. Hmm, this does look nice. Okay, I love this kind of application, but sadly I'm not gonna use it. I use Google Calendar for my own work. Then they have their own music application, which I cannot test because I don't have any sort of music right now. They have their equalizers, like all the basic stuff you are gonna get on a music app. Then they have their text editor. Hello, subscribe. Do Ryan Singh, my own name. Let's say if I want to. Okay, so it only has very basic functionality. Windows Notepad is better. Then they have the calendar app, which also looks gorgeous, but still. Then the settings application, which I I feel like the whole desktop environment is optimized for touch-based devices. Like really. As you can see, most of the icons and buttons are big. Like they're designed to be properly made for touch-based devices. Just look, look at that. You see, if iPad had a desktop mode, it would look like this. Maybe. Then they have the downloader. Okay, this is something new. No operating system gives you a proper downloader along with the system. Then they have their own screen capture. Okay, then that's pretty much it. 
Mm. Yeah, that is pretty much it. Let me just go back and there. Okay, okay. Organize the desktop. How am I supposed to do that? View options. Hmm. Well, I would like to apply something better. Okay, yeah. I want you to cover this. This is one of the only Linux distributions which provides proper display scaling. Like really, fractional scaling in Chrome, KDE and others. And then the other sort of default scaling options. But deep in Linux has done something wonderful. Like really, you see, even in Windows, there are some applications which are blurred on my mini operating systems in which I literally have to optimize them for the later. But this thing, it is so gorgeous. Like really, everything is so crystal clear and crisp. I don't have to optimize or do anything additional to just set it up in 125%. And yeah, I love the task bar, like really. Now let me just customize the desktop for the thumbnail and we'll be good to go. Let's see what else do we have. So what should I do? <sighs> just find a nice application or else I'm gonna go with this. Hmm. Well then let me access my own wallpaper collection. Let's go to Google Drive. So how are we supposed to access Google Drive? There it is. Like really I have a very bad code, I don't know how. Well then let me go to my drive. You see, this wallpaper collection is public and I've linked in the descriptions, don't worry about it. And there we have, now let me choose a nice wallpaper from here. Okay, these really are gorgeous. So which one am I supposed to choose from them? Hmm, okay, this one literally looks nice. Let me just download this. This one literally suits deep in because it's maybe Pokemon, I don't know. Let me just download this one too. I want some colorful wallpapers for this operating system. There it is. Allow it. And there you go. Now what else can I download it from here? Okay then, let's... That's it. Let's go to File Manager. Downloads. Now let's try with... Now let's start with this one. Set as wallpaper. Okay, this one does look pretty okay to me. Alright. But not the Linux deep in type. Now let's try this one. Okay, this one does look awesome. But no. It is very flashy. Let's see this one. This one suits so steep in but not in this form. Mm -hmm. I believe the default wallpaper is the only one which suits her. Let me just find it again. <sighs> okay, there it there it is. Well then, that's it. I believe that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, then subscribe for daily news of awesome less content uploaded on this channel. And I'll meet you next video. Till then, I'm signing off.